all things preacher curl. Let's get after this thing. All right, guys, if you followed my channel, John's teachings, you know we both love the preacher curl. And it's because you can really isolate and nail the bicep if you set up properly and then choose the right piece of equipment to train it with. So today what I want to do is go through all things preacher curl, how to maximize it, how to set it up, sets, reps, different things, and meaning bars, dumbbells, cable, and how we can really maximize your biceps to grow on this piece. So let's get at it. All right, so a huge mistake that I see most guys make is they simply just set the seat too low. So let me show you what I mean by that. So when I sit down on this piece and I purposely have this set up too low for me, look when I slide my stomach or chest into it, you see the space between my elbow and, my, uh, and the pad or my tricep, right? Meaning my lower portion of my tricep and this pad, you can get way too much leverage on it. So what I mean by if I hear, I can really heave it up into place and it doesn't turn into a true isolation or bicep isolating exercise. So what I wanna do on this is I wanna raise the seat to where I'm on it and over it. So I raised it up two holes and I wanna show you here. That is better, but not great. So you see, still space. I need to be over this bad boy. So if you look at this, now we're working. You see how my elbow and tricep are on this? So when I come down, that's absolutely perfect. So double arm, my triceps are flat on the pad and I'm curling, right? I'm getting my delts out of the exercise. I can't leverage it up because I'm locked in. So nine times out of 10, most of you guys out there, the seat is just too low and it's giving you leverage or a false sense of strength because you're getting your front delts into it. So let me put some weights in my hands and show you the ways I like to do this. All right, my absolute favorite way to do this is one arm with a dumbbell and I actually prefer to do this standing. So I'm actually gonna kick the seat back down to get it out of the way. So single arm, look how I'm on this piece. Tricep flat on the pad. I'm using my non-working arm, grabbing and bracing it. I'm driving my chest into this pad. I'm coming down, again, not all the way to stretch that out. You see how that's really risky for my bicep? I wanna stop right there and then come up, squeeze, one, two. Squeeze, one, two. Stop right there. Bam, nailing that bicep, just like that. And you see how I'm kinda like shifted into that? I'm getting no front delt. This thing is soft, it's not even working. Here, one, two. One, two. You wanna switch arms, pinky inside the dumbbell. Here, one, two. Over top of this machine, isolate. This is crushing my bicep, just like that. If I'm gonna do it single arm, this is my favorite way because I can really get into it, lean into it, isolate the bicep one arm at a time. This is my favorite way, but let me show you some other ways we can do this. So something cool that John taught me is a hammer curl on this. So same premise, one arm at a time. I'm using a neutral grip. Here, one, two. One, two, again, same premise, not overstretching right to there. Squeeze, one, two. All the same techniques. Same thing, get a little forearm, brachialis, still trash in the bicep. Now, with this dumbbell in my hand, now we can do two arms, but I like to do what I call a smash curl. Dumbbells together, one, two. One, two, I'm driving my pinkies together. Squeeze, one, two. One, two. Just like that, drilling. The bicep, that feels incredible because I'm creating tension this way and this way. So I'm thinking about, if I'm thinking about driving my hands as hard as I can together, but obviously those dumbbells get in my way, and then I come up, squeeze really hard. That creates a ton of freaking tension. Next up, I really like the easy bar curl. It feels good on this. Not great as the dumbbell, but it's still a great alternative if you want to do both arms at a time. Now, where you'll see most people do is they grab on that inside grip. For me, I just feel bound. It feels okay. Like, it's okay. I'm still, I feel it in my biceps, it feels good. But for me and my structure, I prefer the wider grip here. It just feels better. The alignment's better. One, two. One, two. If you notice, all bicep, no shoulder. Just like that. Play around with that. If you like the inside grip, if you feel it a lot, do it. I prefer the wider because it just sets me up in a more natural position for curling. Again, I wouldn't go super, super heavy on this. I would place it probably third in rotation on my bicep portion of training. So it's gonna, that's gonna limit it because you're coming in here fatigued, but really trash the bicep here. Isolate it, think about this is, this is a single joint exercise. Nothing else is getting into place. So make sure you really squeeze 
and fill it. And again, do not overstretch. Now, let's say your gym or home gym doesn't have a preacher bench for whatever reason. There is no excuse. Well, I can't simulate that with an incline bench and a cable or even a dumbbell, to be honest. So we're gonna have the cable set at the low setting with a D handle hook to it. And then all I wanna do is look how I'm set up my alignment here. I'm gonna get him to swing directly behind me because I want him to see this line of force. When I curl up, look at that. That bicep is fully isolated, tricep driven into the pad. This is crushing my arm. But look at this alignment, guys. Look how perfect that cable is in right with the line of force of my bicep tying into my front delt. Right there, squeeze, nail that bicep. This is honestly a great feel. So if you don't have a machine preacher curl, like I also am a huge fan of, it's fine, no big deal. I'm still getting the cable resistance. It's constant from top to bottom. This is a great exercise, easy to set up, <laughs> and it smokes the bicep. Plus it puts us back in the one arm range to where we can really take, isolate the right to left side. It's such a good pump. If you've never done this, I highly recommend you try it. All right, and to finish up this video, sets and reps. As I said earlier, I like this third in rotation for biceps. So two cable curls or even like one cable curl and then a dumbbell curl, then preacher, and then finish with a stretch curl so it's gonna lengthen the bicep. And then for reps, I like anywhere between 10 and 20, to be honest. It just feels great. You can even throw some intensity techniques on there. You could do a rest pause set. You could do a drop set. God, I can't tell you how many times my body's an idea of drop sets where we just load a bunch of tens on it, curl, 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 strip a 10, curl, 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 and just go over where you're just curling the bar at the end. So I love this exercise for intensity because you're just locked in. The bicep tends to be safe if you do it smart and not overstretch and you can just crush that bicep until you can't move it anymore. So if you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Put the Preach Curl in your program. Get your biceps growing. And until next time, Christmas TV.